ended up being uh, a pretty great spot just east of Teleco Plains, Tennessee a little bit. Rode the tail of the dragon yesterday and then started riding around through the National Forest and found this place. Little pull off right here. So anyhow, um, next up is uh, Cherahala Skyway right over that way a few miles down the mountain. If you ask a lot of people uh, what's their favorite ride around here, a lot of them will say this one. It tends to not be quite as crowded. There's a lot of wide sweeper turns. You go up a couple thousand feet in elevation and the temperature drops about 15 degrees. So I got my sweatshirt uh, handy in there uh, in case I get cold. And uh, otherwise, uh, going back to Robbinsville, uh, kind of where we started yesterday. Spanning from Teleco Plains, Tennessee, all the way to Robbinsville, North Carolina, the Cherahala Skyway boasts an incredible 4,000 foot elevation gain and is filled with wide sweeper curves and gorgeous mountain vistas. Dirty motorcycle vagabond. I've seen that. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Travel through Mexico a lot. Uh, Central lot America. That's him. Thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. there are places that we should not be fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like one of them. Yeah. Africa Twin. You like it? I've rode that bike cross country two times. Have you? Yeah. I rode it to the Grand Canyon and I've rode it to Florida from Missouri. Okay. But those are cool because you find a gravel road. You know, and, and they're they're awesome. Yeah, yep. they got a parallel twin, but it's a 1,000, mm. and it'll still get 40 mm -hmm. or 50 miles a gallon too. So one that thing was, that sucks about those is up. going 90, they're like 6,500. They're pretty really, up, yeah. Oh, but okay. they'll still get, but they they'll still get 50. in the 30s doing that. Oh, you know. The biggest problem with them, I have one. I have the red, white, and black. Okay. The biggest problem with them, <laughs> yeah. If you let off the throttle, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah. They have no. Because they're they're like, more like one of them Harleys, and you let off the throttle, and it just. They're more like a dirt yeah. bike, so they like rev real fast yeah. and stuff, so you can control them off road. I didn't have a trunk like that, but I have like the aluminum pannier bags, mm -hmm. and on the rear seat I had a bag like you're doing, and then I have like an extended rack thing, and I had another bag. Okay. And then my wife had a CBR 650F. Yeah. Which is very similar in style to yes. that bike. It's just uh -huh. like a sport uh -huh. touring. Yeah. 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 And she, she had a tank bag well, and one on the, coming. like, she had her thing on the rear well, seat. Probably, we're we're leading her all, like, Grand Canyon, all the stuff. It was awesome. Oh, cool. Good trip. Cool. You guys coming from that way or that way? That way. We're that way? Yeah. We're headed to the Okay. Yeah. And you guys, where are you guys from? St. Basically, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. And so this guy roped y'all in? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, well, this is my son. And I started him when he was a little kid riding four wheelers first, right? Yep, and then he got a dirt bike when he was a kid. And then it, he just come to town a couple of years ago. He had four already and he still got three. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> and this is his buddy from whenever they were little kids. And we Second, sold him the CBR. And Second grade. And then he sold me my first motorcycle. And I've had five or six since then. Cool. And a year ago, I bought my wife, bought her her first motorcycle, a Honda Rebel DCT, 1100 DCT. Yeah. So she doesn't have to ride on the back. The first section of this ride coming out of Tennessee is nothing but pure climbing for miles and miles.
right, so this is basically the top or uh, pretty damn close to it. The temperature's uh, about 20 degrees cooler than it was at the bottom. I was actually sweating and thinking about taking this jacket off and now it's it's pretty damn cold. I'm thinking about putting another layer on. Just an interesting road. I like it because it's wide open, good condition. For me, I kind of like this better than Tale of the Dragon. After the mishap I'd seen on the Dragon the previous day, I was really hoping not to see any more accidents. Unfortunately, this would not be the case, as someone had apparently run off the road. Got it under control? Again? Got it under control? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. If it hadn't been for the guardrail, this scene would have likely ended a lot differently. Eventually I found myself back in Robbinsville where this whole adventure had first started. In addition to being a kind of unofficial meeting point for bikers around the world, this small North Carolina town is also home to six-time Grammy award-winning country singer Ronnie Millsap. As it just so happened, there was a Lotus rally in town with about 20 or so cars getting ready for a ride up the Dragon. I was sure glad I hadn't chosen today to be out there. While in town, I stocked up on water, coffee, and rotisserie chicken, then headed into the Joyce Kilmer Memorial Forest. This uh, part of North Carolina is under snow for a pretty good portion of the year, three or four months probably. The temperature is uh, about 72 degrees. So this lake obviously is uh, way up in the mountains. I'm not exactly sure what the altitude is, but uh, I'm about to jump in and uh, this is gonna be cold. All right, so this is camp.
a free place that my buddy Jersey Mike told me about. Absolutely free, just all kinds of dispersed camping all along this uh, road. Finally got a good camp set up, man. This one took me longer than I was hoping. Just to figure out how to get that tarp over took me uh, a while because uh, I carry bungee cords, so you got to kind of figure out how to uh, string each of the corners up. It just takes a while. You'll notice that I folded the uh, the footprint under the tent so that any rain will just kind of have an easier time going under as opposed to between the tarp and the tent. Makes a huge difference. I was hiking around and found this genuine Zippo lighter with some kind of a wolf on it, it looks like. Somebody just left it on a picnic table. It's been an exhausting day kind of getting everything uh, set up the way I want it. Been hiking up and down the road. Um, nothing much to see really. It's These campsites are really kind of carved out on the side of a mountain like this. Some of them are actually really close to this lake, but all those were taken. So, you know, you got to take what you can get. Well, all that trouble is slinging up that tarp and not a drop of rain, damn it. Anyway, I guess really that's a good thing. Uh, means I don't have to dry anything out, uh, which would take forever out here. In this part of the country, one doesn't have to go far to find some truly world-class motorcycle riding. One such of these roads is the Cherahala Skyway. Whether you choose it or any other squiggly line on the map, you'll find that riding the green hills of southern Appalachia is an experience like no other. Hey, what's up? This is Joe. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video of the Cherahala Skyway. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, as usual, I've included an optional donate link in the drop box for anybody that might like to contribute to this project. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road.